Hello and welcome to Roger Supply Tech Talk. I'm Kevin Magnabosco. Today we are going to cover how to adjust manifold gas pressure on a furnace. Why do we set gas pressure? For one, it's not normally set accurately from the factory. It's set from the manufacturer of the gas valve. Furnace manufacturers don't know where that furnace is going, so it is very good practice to always adjust gas pressure for both operating conditions and temperature rise so the equipment doesn't get hurt. Tools that we're going to need to be doing this, a couple things that you can use. One, you're going to need some type of manometer. This here is a Dwyer model. This is a field piece model. This is a preferred. It does have dual port. You can do more things with this and we'll be using this in other videos as well. Depending on the equipment, you're going to need some type of device to hook to the gas valve. On a White Rogers gas valve, it's using a little 5 16 tube to go over the port. This we have from White Rogers and also a Goodman part number for sale. It comes with this and it comes with an Allen wrench so you can open up the little port. If it's a Honeywell gas valve on a furnace, you need an Allen wrench to pull out the plug, or if you're doing air conditioning, you can always use your refrigeration wrench, which your 3 16 insert will also pull those plugs out. You will also need quarter bar fittings to go into the gas valve to hook up your hoses. Let's start with this furnace here. This is a White Rogers gas valve. First we want to do is make sure that our gas pressure is shut off going to the unit, which I already done ahead of time. Take your Allen wrench. I'm going to use my normal Allen wrench here. And we're going to watch the inlet and the manifold pressure at the same time and we're going to adjust both low and high stage. Loosen up our ports. You don't have to pull these plugs all the way out. They are very tiny and you will lose them. Take our manometer. We want to turn it on. Before we do anything else, there's a button at the bottom to zero it out. And since I'm using a dual port manometer, I can monitor my inlet pressure as well as my manifold pressure at the same time. Now we're ready to go. We'll have to turn on our gas valve to the unit. And we can energize the furnace for first stage of heat. Watching our manifold pressure and our inlet pressure at the same time. So right now we're going to adjust low stage first. We're going to start by removing our caps. What is nice about the dual port manometer, what it's doing, it's monitoring our inlet pressure. Dual port, P2 on a dual port does read negative pressure, but it's the same as the positive, it's just reading negative. So now we're firing in, in low stage. This furnace right now is operating at 2.8 inches water column on low stage, which is actually a little high. Uh, we should be down nominally about 2.6. It could be anywhere from 1.6 to 2.2 .2 for first stage, 2 inch. We want to take our adjustment screw. Back it off till we get to our desired pressure. Good practice always 
recover it to see if your pressure changes because it can bleed by the valve. We want to set our high. We're going to energize this to the high stage. Just kicked in. This one, the way it's set, is operating at 3.5 inches water column. Uh, that's about right in the middle. Can be anywhere from 3.2 to 3.8. Double check, make sure it's not blowing by. This one's been adjusted. What the factory will do after this. I would always recommend double checking your temperature rise as the equipment's operating, compare that to the specs. After you're done, install your two caps back on, tighten your screws back off, and you're done. Thank you.